Hi everyone, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. Uh, I wanted to share a really cool experiment that we do with you guys. Uh, my wife Alina and I have been doing some 3D printing testing lately. Uh, I've been teaching her all the tricks of the trade and how to especially do the, these prosthetic hands that we've been making. Um, for those of you who might not have seen the other videos, these are uh, 3D printed mechanical hands, prosthetic okay. hands, that we make for uh, people who need them, mostly children, who are born uh, with conditions where they have a palm but no fingers uh, and other such uh, conditions. So those are what we're printing and most people when they do these they do a number of different 3D print jobs. They might do one piece at a time, so a finger and then another finger and then the palm piece, etc. We've always been more aggressive. We've always done it in two build plates. So we do, uh, and I have a sample of a build plate here. So as you can see it's not too big. Um, this one here is six by nine inches. Uh, which is a fairly standard or common size for 3D printers. Uh, others are a little bit different, but this is pretty common. And as you can see, it's just you know not, not big enough to do a whole uh, device like this. So we would normally do one build plate with all of the hand parts and another build plate with what we call the gauntlet, this rear part here. So it would end up being two relatively full build plates. Um, we got to thinking though if we could maybe do better than that and uh, all credit goes to my wife Alina on this one. She had the idea of actually positioning parts like the fingers underneath other parts such as the palm and the gauntlet such that we could print the entire assembly in a single build plate. I had no idea if this would work but as I thought about it the Simplify 3D software that we use allows for very customized support generation and it seemed that using those features it might just be possible to pull this off. So we did this as a test and we wanted to share the results with you here. Okay, so here we are in Simplify 3D and this is the build plate that we set up for this experiment. As you can see we have all of the various uh, pieces. So uh, as you can see on the plate they are uh, they're all laid out, but you can't see all the fingers, and that's because some of them are actually laid out underneath the palm and underneath the gauntlet. I can flip this around and show from underneath, and you'll see there's the pieces, three of them in a row under the gauntlet, and there's three more pieces here under the palm, and they're just sort of surrounded by these custom support pillars that you can generate in Simplify 3D, and that uh, allows you to print support where you want it, but then we actually went back in on those pieces under there and further customized the support so that it would not go inside those little channels where the cables or the cords are going to go. So it's going to be sort of encased in support with a very tiny gap so it can be removed easily. But it's also going to leave those channels open for us. So we should end up with a nice uh, clean print theoretically. Okay, so I'm going to shift the view up here and I'm going to animate this to, to show what's going to happen. Let's get zoomed in a little bit more here. And play. Now it's going to go layer by layer. And as you can see, it's going to build the support around those finger pieces that are inside the gauntlet and the palm. Because the gauntlet and the palm both need support, but. What we're trying to do here is let it build that support around those fingers and then that support will continue building on up to the top of the gauntlet and the palm to support those as needed. But meanwhile we'll have our extra finger parts printed inside there. So that's what we're hoping for and now it's just a matter of printing and seeing how it works. Now, it does take a long time to print this way. This job took us about 21 hours. You know, we were pretty conservative with speed. Uh, I believe normally we were running around 16 to 18 hours to run two separate build plates for the hand parts and the gauntlet. So it's actually taking a little bit longer, but we don't have to have two printers tied up or we don't have to have two jobs running uh, separately. We just have one job that we start and we let it run and the next day we got a hand. So I think that is pretty cool. Okay, so here we have the parts just exactly as they came off the build plate. Uh, as you can see, some of the finger pieces were, were printed uh, just normally. That's a piece of support. Some of these were printed normally, just, just separate. This is how they would normally come out with just you know, some little bits of support that we'll, we'll clear off here. But there are also fingers hidden underneath the gauntlet and underneath the hand 
But you can see here, if we turn it over, they're actually sort of encased in the custom support there. One of them just already fell out. And the same with the hand here. We've got some of these uh, proximal phalanges hidden sort of inside the support. And so we're going to go ahead and take these apart now and see how this worked. It's, uh, it's looking very promising. Okay. So we're just going to take this piece out first. And that is a nice, clean print. Beautiful. And uh, let's see if we can get into this other one. I'm just going to pull this whole block of support out. It comes out nice. The gauntlet looks good. Nice, clean print. Uh, notice that we use Simplify 3D, so there's no support material inside these uh, places where the hex tensioner pieces are going to go. That's a nice convenience. And uh, now in this support material, we have another finger. And it's a little trickier than usual to get that support out of there, but I can see already that the print looks good. I'm going to go ahead and use some needle nose pliers. Oh no, there it goes. Look at that. That is a perfect fingerprint. Absolutely no sign of any negative impact from having that support around it. <laughs> this is really impressive. All right, so uh, that's just support material. We're done with all that. Let's go ahead and look at our hand piece here. We've got a couple of our of our hex tensioners. So that whole thing came out there. Look, so there's our palm piece, nice and clean. And we'll, we'll clean up a little bit of those support pieces later. Again, using Simplify 3D, these channels where the cords go through are totally clear of support, so it comes out nice and clean. No need to dig that out. And here we have our other pieces. And again, it's it's a little bit, uh, you know, there's, there's more support than usual, so you'll have to do a little picking, but um, this, is, this is looking like a really clean print. Um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and clean this one out to give a full example. A little bit of support there on the bottom. And that's about it. There we have it. That is a, that is a nice, clean print of a piece that was <laughs> buried right inside that support. And we have two more here, just like it. I won't go ahead and fully clean these, but as you can see, they uh, all of them printed just fine. The quality looks good. Just leave that one. Some other hex pieces here. I might change the arrangement just a bit so that my hex pieces don't get caught in the support this way. They're a little too close. But uh, that's That'll come off of the needle nose. Okay. More here. And last piece. One more. Again, this looks pretty clean. We'll do some final cleanup later, but those are nice looking clean prints. And let's get this support out of the way. All right, so here we have it, the final product. This is uh, what you're looking at here is every single piece needed for an entire cyborg beast assembly uh, in the latest version. And this was all printed on a single build plate. Uh, which I think is just genius. So, you know, here I am having been working day in and day out to, to master 3D printing, and I, I teach this to my wife, and in one day later she schools me. Uh, but it's great. I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm very proud, and uh, I, I think this could be useful uh, for others who are, are building these regularly. Thanks for watching.